Watermax, if you've been watching videos for a while now, I'm sure you've encountered them in one shape, form or another. From social media to even videos here on YouTube and even that old video from your grandma's birthday party, you name it. While there's technically nothing wrong with them, they definitely spoil the aesthetics of your video and they make your videos look unprofessional. That is why in this video, I'm going to be showing you five free softwares which you can use to edit your videos which are completely watermark free. Whether you're editing on Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS or Android, I have a software for you on this list. In fact, one of the softwares we're going to be mentioning today is actually used in big Hollywood movies that you watch in the cinemas. So stand by for this. This is coming as a request from one of you. If you also have a request of a video you would like me to do, let me know down in the comments and I will try my best to get to it. Now these are not arranged in any order, but first on the list, if you edit on Windows, my pick would actually surprise you. That is because a lot of people don't even know this exists or they overlook it. And that is the inbuilt Windows editor that comes with Windows 10. I believe this is a successor to the software we used to have that is called Movie Maker on older versions of Windows. And though made for basic video editing, it has more than enough tools for you to do probably 80% of the things that you'd want to do when you're editing videos. And this is trimming your video in some kind of way, joining it with other videos that you've taken, adding some kind of background music to the video and sound effects like voiceovers, and then adding some titles. Believe it or not, most of the time, this is probably 80% of the work you do when you're editing videos. At least for me, it is. But besides that, it also has some additional functionalities like they have templates that you could use to quickly piece a storyline together. It has uh, filters you can apply to your video if you want to give it some kind of a mood or color grading. Uh, it has ability to slow down your video, to speed it up, amongst other things. It actually has special effects. Check this out. Look at that. Special effects with motion tracking, all built in it, and it has all sorts of effects that you can use with it. So if you have basic videos that you want to edit, this is definitely a good alternative for you to use. Uh, you might find that it has some limitations, uh, such as you can't export video beyond 1080p, and also, you know, it doesn't give you multi-track options for your videos, just one track. It can't do chroma key amongst some few limitations. But if you're just editing videos for your birthday or you're trying to edit a vlog or just simple video editing, you would find that this software is more than enough to do what you need to do. And you would actually find that it's quite, quite easy and intuitive to use. So I definitely ask you to check that out as an alternative to the softwares that put those watermarks on your videos. All right, moving along. If you're a Mac user, then this next software should be a no brainer. And I'm talking about iMovies by Apple. You would find that a lot of video editors who edit today on a Mac actually started on iMovies and moved along to a more professional grade software at a later time. And like Windows Video Editor, it has that 80% that you can use to do most of your video editing, but it goes beyond that. It's a little bit more sophisticated than Windows uh, Video Editor in that it allows you to have up to three tracks. So you can have your base video on the first track, have some kind of B-roll maybe on the second track and put your, your text, your graphics, on higher track. It can do things like green screening, basic color correction on your videos. Uh, they have a whole lot more templates that you can actually use when you're trying to uh, maybe design some kind of video based off of a template and a whole lot more that it can do. And then it actually allows you to export your videos all the way to 4K as well as uploading them directly to platforms like YouTube amongst others. So definitely if you are a Mac user and you just do basic videos, unless you have like some kind of complex project, really I don't see any reason why iMovies shouldn't be more than more than good enough for you to do most of your video project. So that's definitely would be my go-to software. So do check that out and use that as an alternative. If you edit using an iPhone, then my go-to software would still be iMovies. Yes, they do have a mobile version of iMovies. So for your iPad, and all your iOS devices, there is iMovies for the phone. And just like its big brother, 
because most of the features that I told you about that you can do on the Mac, you can also do it on your iPhone using iMovies. And the good thing is that if you ever eventually get a computer or if you actually have a computer, you can start your editing on your phone and transfer it to your computer. So that is definitely a good added advantage. And you know, it's already a software made by Apple. It's free, it's optimized to work well for your phone. Why not? And it can do a whole bunch of most of the editing that you need to do. So I don't see a reason why you can't just use that instead of going for a software that has a watermark. All right, so before we continue along, if this video is giving you any value at all, you can do me a favor by simply hitting that thumbs up button that helps me to grow the channel. Thank you for that. Now, let's move along. Now, if you're an Android user, my go-to software would actually be Adobe Premiere Rush. Although this app actually works both on iOS, Windows, and Mac, when this app initially came out, Adobe limited your number of exports to only three, and then you had to upgrade to be able to do unlimited exports. Adobe has since removed that limitations, and they now offer a completely free version of the mobile app. So this makes this a great option if you edit your videos using Android. If you're wondering what Premiere Rush is, it's Adobe's miniature version of Premiere Pro and I guess a little bit of Adobe Auditions in one app. And it's designed for fast-paced video editing. So it gives you an option to, within the app, you can take your videos directly and edit them or also import videos from your phone into the app and edit it. And it's designed for editing for things like social media and even vlogs for YouTube. So they give you access to tons of uh, motion graphic templates that you can use for your graphics and your text. It gives you up to four video tracks that you can use and three audio tracks. And like I mentioned, it has a little bit of Adobe Audition in it. So they actually allow you to do a little bit of audio enhancement on the app. So you can do things like remove background noise, enhance your sound a little bit so that the audio sounds a little bit better amongst tons of other features that comes within the app. Now they still have the paid version that gives you access to additional functionality, such as uh, syncing your project across devices. So you could start editing something on your phone and if you go on your computer, the exact same project where you left it would be on your computer. Other than that, Adobe Premiere Rush is a great software for you to use for video editing, especially if you plan to upgrade to professional softwares like Adobe Premiere Pro in the future. This is a good way for you to start getting used to that environment and when you feel comfortable later and want to upgrade to a professional software, you can move to a software like Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, finally, we move to the most sophisticated software on the list. So if you're looking for professional grade software that is completely free and also has no watermark, Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve. Remember earlier in the video, I told you about a software that is used in Hollywood to make Hollywood movies? Well, this is the software I'm talking about. If you've watched movies like Men in Black International, John Wick 3, Spider-Man Far From Home, many more use DaVinci Resolve in one way or another mostly for its coloring features because it's become the industry standard software for color grading. But beyond color grading, it has tons and tons and tons and tons of features. It combines features that Adobe After Effects has, Premiere Pro and Adobe Auditions all in one software. In fact, it has so much features that I don't know why Blackmagic gives this for free, but it is a free software. So from the video editing standpoint, you can do all your video editing, things like keyframing, cuts, whatever you pretty much want to do with video editing, you should be able to do it using this software. And if you want to go further and do special effects, it has a feature for that, just like Adobe After Effects will do, and you can do that all within the same software. And then if you want to enhance your audio and improve the sounds like you would do with Adobe Auditions, you can also do this within the same software. And of course, uh, when you're done and want to color grade, it's known mostly for its color grading features, you can then also within the same software, color grade your footage to give it that Hollywood look. One drawback of this software is that if you open it for the very first time, you might find it quite overwhelming and there might be a bit of a steep learning curve to use it. So it's not as easy as some of the other softwares that we have mentioned and even softwares like Premiere Pro or Final Cut. Uh, but once you get a hang of it, you should be on your way to becoming proficient in the software. And then it also needs quite a powerful computer for you to be able to use it because it's a GPU heavy software. It uses the GPU. Beyond that, it is a great software and an amazing tool for you to use for your video editing. They do have a premium version of this, a paid version for about $300 to get a one-time license. But again, I don't really see the need why you might need that. For most of the video editing that you would need to do, you should be able to do most of that using the free version. 
And something most people don't know is that if you buy Blackmagic cameras and a number of Blackmagic products, the box and everything actually comes with a free license to the premium version. If you do have a friend that has a Blackmagic camera or Blackmagic products, do probably ask them to check the box and maybe there is a license for you there that you can get the premium version. But like I said, the free version should be more than more than well capable to do whatever you want to do with your video editing. So that's all I had for you today. Those are five free softwares that you can use to do your video editing that are completely watermark free. And if you want to learn how to use each of these softwares, in a later video on this channel, I will be making full tutorials on how to use this software. So do make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way YouTube notifies you when I release new content. And if there's a software you'd like me to do a tutorial on first, do let me know down in the comment section and I'm going to go through those comments and based on your request, I will give priority to that software. And maybe you also have other free softwares you use because there are tons and tons of these free softwares. Let me know down in the comments. I would like to also learn from you guys other free softwares that you use for video editing that are completely watermark free. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And again, I welcome you to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and much more tutorials. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.